pressure test has been set by a man who is no stranger to this kitchen. Over the past seven years, he's set a number of pressure tests here. But he's also cooked in them. In fact, he stood opposite us more times than any of you. He is responsible for some of the most memorable dishes ever presented in this competition. Hot damn. From the forbidden fruit. To moss. No way. To white noise. And of course, down the rabbit hole. Sydney, please welcome Reynold Panorama! You can't be a fan of MasterChef and not know who Reynold is and know how good he is and how amazing his dishes are. So seeing him walk into the kitchen to set this pressure test, as a fan, it's a dream, but hopefully not a nightmare. Riddle, welcome back, mate. Gosh, it's Thank good you. to have you in the kitchen. <laughs> no, I kind of miss it. I kind of miss being on this side. <laughs> I mean, it was fun on that side, but uh, uh, today is uh, something pretty exciting. I'm pretty excited to show this dish as well. And before we get to that scary little thing, <laughs> What's been happening in your world? Koi's going well? Koi's doing well. We've got a new flagship store in Sydney. Um, and so it's a bigger space. We've got Monkey's Corner and Koi all in one big area. Nice one. You've conquered Zumbo. That's in the past. You smash it. Can you conquer this man? I, I don't know. He, he, he scares me a little, actually. <laughs> you were scared of Zumbo as well. I'm just scared. I'm just always scared. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Reynold, mate, how would you describe what's going on under there? Oh, it's, uh, it's pretty hard, even for myself. Over the years that I've kind of learned all these skills and honed it all together, I've put it all into this dessert. Ouch. Well, Reynold, I reckon we put them out of their misery. Why don't you lift the lid and let's see what they're cooking. Sure. My new signature dessert, Noi. So happy that I'm up on the tree today. I do not want to be anywhere near Reynolds desserts unless I'm eating them. First waffles, now this. Come on. Looks amazing. Talk us through it. Now, there's a lot of components that's from a lot of signature desserts that I've done. The apples from the moss, and the twigs from the rabbit hole, and also uh, the muscovited twills. That's from Martin Benz. And also I use the same recipe for the coating and everything, the technique of it all for the snitch. You're just gonna look at it? Get in there. <laughs> So this is it. The main component's got two cubes. The bottom cube and the top cube both have different fillings with the same base. A jasmine mousse. The mousse is a whipped ganache. The top cube has a caramel and apple. And the bottom is a compressed orange blossom and elderflower apple with gel. I'm taking my time to really taste each element individually to memorize the flavors. The cubes have fennel, elderflower, and orange blossom. All these floral notes that accentuate the crispness of green apple. And I love it. 
Reynolds, there are so many components here. I guess that's a pressure point itself. But what else are, are the main pressure points to look out for in this dish? The twigs. These ones are probably the hardest ones to do. A bit more natural almost. If it's too thick, it'll be too heavy to even stand up. Leaves, pressure. The leaves are actually pretty hard. <laughs> uh, so th this was in my pressure test that I got booted out on. Uh, I decided to use it in this dish because uh, it's really delicious. So you want to make sure it's heated up nicely and you've got to make sure you work fast and shape it as organic as possible. There are a lot of different elements going into this dish and how they play together is going to be key. I want to make sure I can do this dish aesthetic justice as well. 